The New York Times, U.S. quietly cuts troop strength in Afghanistan. Now just think about that headline, troop strength. That already sounds negative, right? To cut our strength. Well, you don't want to cut our strength. That's our strength is our strength. You don't want to cut our strength. So already in that headline, well, you know what else you could t- title that same, same sentence, right? A few words. You know what else it could be? U.S. gets the fuck out of country they invaded 18 years ago. 18 years ago. 18 years ago. Did I say 18 years ago? Fucking 18 years ago. That's how you could also title it. But instead, they make it sound like weakness, right? Actually, the next headline moves weakened position in peace negotiations. Wow, that must mean we had a really strong position in those peace negotiations for 18 years. And how much peace did we get? Oh, this one. Jesus Christ. This, this is a short one. After debate, Iowans look again at Klobuchar, Amy Klobuchar. Um, and uh, no, no, they didn't. No. No, they did not. No one looked at Amy Klobuchar, all right? Fucking no one, except the New York Times, who was realizing that, guess what? Biden's collapsing, so it's becoming between Bernie Sanders and uh, Elizabeth Warren, and they fucking hate that. So now they're like, Buttigieg is looking good again. How about Klobuchar? This guy's just fucking shithole. This uh, backlash against homeless as a crisis built in California. So they're, ta- oh, they're talking about homelessness. Well, what do they do? They, they interview Gene Gorlick, who's a property developer in Oakland, who says that recently uh, suggested luring thousands of homeless people in the San Francisco Bay Area onto party buses stocked with alcohol and sending them on a one-way trip to Mexico. <laughs> he says refugee camps in Syria are cleaner than this. I like that he got, he was insulting the homeless, but he was like, let's get a punch in against Syrian refugees. Cause you know, just fucking the homeless is not enough. Let's fuck those goddamn refugees. Uh, it, it, yeah, it's, it's disgusting. I mean, it, and, and you know, they're, they're also being a little critical of him, but at the same time, why give him a platform? Why be like, hey, here's a goddamn Nazi. Let's see what he has to say about the homeless. I don't normally go through like, uh, because cause here's the thing, is the New York Times, the Washington Post, people still believe that shit. Like, that's why I go through those, whereas this is the Washington Times. I've never met anyone who believes this shit. I don't, are there human beings that are like, I am now informed? Well, I don't know. But, uh, so this is a, watch, this is a weird right-wing newspaper. So this, this headline is, ICE urges Congress to act against sanctuary cities. Subheadline: cr- criminals pouring out of city jails. The city jails are just oozing criminals. By the way, immigrants, uh, especially uh, uh, undocumented immigrants, create, uh, uh, cause less crime, commit less crime than any other demographic. Because guess what? They don't want to fucking get arrested and kicked out of the country. And so then it says, as many as a hundred criminals a day are being released back onto the streets of Los Angeles. Uh, and it says ICE is top de- uh, deportation official uh, is pleading for lawmakers to do something. It's ple- and by the way, when they say criminals, most of these are like fucking parking tickets and shit, you know, <laughs> caught, caught with a joint or something. But these, he, the way they describe it, it's like just axe murderers, just ah! And they, they actually give them the axe back as they leave the jail. They're like, here's your axe, thank you! That's, that's most of it. <laughs> So this is turmoil as GOP disrupts inquiry of impeachment. I don't know if you saw yesterday, the GOP stormed into this, you know, inquiry of the impeachment. And and my view on this is, isn't it fun to watch two swamp things fight? Like, because you're like, whoa, that guy's disgusting. He's got like feces coming out of his ears. And then you're like, oh, that guy's got blood coming out of his eyes. And then they just go at it. And you're like, oh, that's what I'm, that's what this is. Uh, that's what the, cause, cause you know, it's yes, yes, Trump's corrupt, yes. And he was doing the same corrupt things as Joe Biden, yeah. who he was trying to show exactly. the corruption of Joe Biden by doing equally corrupt things. And now they're like, he's corrupt. And, and the reason they're hiding this impeachment, which by the way, they're not doing the impeachment correctly. They're not having a vote on it because they don't want it to be public because they don't want the discovery and all that shit where they would show Biden's corruption. So it is just swamp things fucking each other in the eyeballs. That's all it is. That's all it is. Sorry to get too graphic, (laughs) fucking each other in the ear holes. And then this is about Google. Did you see this news? Google claims computing feet akin to first flight, which, why that that fucking headline? But uh, (laughs) basically Google is claiming uh, the long sought breakthrough of quantum supremacy. 
A, and I, all right, I'm going to read you this, this paragraph real quick. A quantum machine could one day drive big advances in areas of artificial intelligence, make even the most powerful supercomputers look like toys. The Google device, they claim, did a, in three minutes and 20 seconds a mathematical calculation that supercomputers could not complete in under 10,000 years. <laughs> so now if this is true, it's very exciting because Google can do all of these things, like everything that our computers take a while to do, it's just it's fucking instant, instantaneous. And did I say exciting? Fucking horrifying! <laughs> this is horrifying! Because if Google does that, it's, we're all, I mean, we're already borderline obsolete, now we're done, we're just gone. <laughs> and here's the thing, is if you dealt with that right in a society, you'd be like, hey everybody, like 90% of the jobs, we can get rid of them, we're just gonna let you guys live your lives and whatever you're passionate about, you go after that. But uh, then there's the other way, which, hey, now you're our slaves. So we'll go that way, because that way's more fun. And then IBM is, is arguing. They're like, no, -uh, they did not. So, uh. from Chile to Lebanon, protests flare over wallet issues. So this is there are protests flaring around the world. I'm talking about that more on the show. Um, but New York Times is acting like it's just little wallet issues. You know, in Lebanon, it was a tax on WhatsApp calls. The government of Saudi Arabia moved against hookah pipes. In India, it was about onions. <laughs> And then they say that, it, yeah, oh, it also has to do with inequality and the political elite and everything. But guess what, New York Times? You fucking helped create this, all right? You fucking tore down any country. You promoted coups in any country that was taking care of their citizens, like yeah. Venezuela right now. So the New York Times helped create this shit. And then they go, isn't it odd? These people are upset. It's so weird. This is like, it's like, this is like, if you filled your house with just rotting vegetables, just candy and shit all over the floor, then one day you come home and there's ants everywhere, and then someone's like, what caused it? And you're like, I think it was that peanut. <laughs> I think it was fucking peanut.